It's developing tonight. A former call girl convicted of killing a Google executive on a yacht is now indicted in the death of an owner of Masquerade Nightclub. Georgia native Alex Tickleman was charged with felony murder for the 2013 death of Dean Riopel. Fox News' Jacqueline Schultz has an update on the so-called call girl killer case. She had gotten out of the shower and found her boyfriend, Mr. Riopel, um, lying on the floor unresponsive. Almost five years later, the woman, notoriously known as the call girl killer, finally faces charges of murder in Georgia. The alleged victim, Dean Riopel, owner of Atlanta's famed Masquerade Nightclub, who passed away in September of 2013 from a heroin overdose in Milton. Riopel's death was the first of two that year. In just a matter of weeks, authorities now say are tied to Alex Tickleman. In November 2013, California authorities said she was in the company of Google executive Forrest Hayes on a yacht in Santa Cruz when she injected him with a lethal dose of heroin and then watched Hayes die while she sipped a glass of wine. Tickleman pled guilty to involuntary manslaughter and served three years of time. Both subjects in this case and in these cases died of heroin overdoses. Um, so there's just several factors that we want to look at to make sure um, that we didn't miss anything. Back in 2014, Milton police told Fox 5 they reopened the case of Riopel's death, first labeled an accidental overdose. After learning about Hayes, and investigators believed Tickleman was present when both men died. In an indictment obtained by Fox 5, investigators say while Riopel was intoxicated with alcohol, Tickleman gave him heroin and oxycodone, ultimately causing his death. Tickleman, now living in Canada and claiming she's clean and working a normal job, faces two counts of felony murder and two drug-related charges. The Office of District Attorney Paul Howard says it's working with Canadian authorities to arrest her and extradite her to the U.S. to face charges in Rio Pell's death, which sent shockwaves through the Atlanta music scene and community. Dean was a, a great guy in the community. He was very active with his, his son's life and his daughter's life. In Fulton County, Jacqueline Schultz, Fox 5 News.